Welcome to my channel, All for Health with Jane. Family, we are still having Brigadier Gininda on the Senzo Meiwa Meda trial. On this video, Brigadier Gininda being cross-examined by Mr. Ramosepile, Brigadier Gininda is putting it on record the reasons why by now Kelly Kumalo was supposed to have been charged. This summarizes everything that points uh, to the fact that Kelly Kumalo was supposed to be behind bars at this moment. Family, let's watch and listen. And then further you say, evidence under oath revealed that six suspects actively participated in the planning and execution of the contractual murder of Senze Meiwa at the directive of Kelly Kumalo. Uh, currently we have, before standing and sitting before this court, five accused persons and in the statement it says six suspects actively participated in the planning and execution. Who is the sixth suspect? It's Miss Kelly Kumalo, my lord. Remember this statement, I was applying for the warrant of arrest for Miss Kelly Kumalo, so she would have been the sixth suspect. This one at that time, we already arranged. They had already made their first appearance. So this was November. So I was now moving towards Ms. Kumalo to be added. So she was the sixth suspect. And on page, the, the next page or at the top, you say this suspect, Nontanta Kelly Kumalo in brackets, is first linked by means of confession, confessions made, confessions that were made by both accused one and two. Let me pause it here. On this aspect, uh, further down in my cross-examination, I'm going to touch specifically on the confession statements, exhibits, HH and JJ, allegedly made by accused number two. So this point, I'll pack it now and then move it forward. It says, investigations further revealed that she had four other cell phones that she did not disclose to the police when the incident took place. And then the numbers are the ones that I mentioned. Now, what was the relevance of saying she had these other four cell phones that she did not reveal? Uh, the significance thereof for yes. you to put it in this statement. Indeed. No, so the relevance of it, my Lord, one will recall that if, if one reads the exhibits, the confessions, um, made by accused one and two. Somewhere in the confessions, there is appearances where it is alleged that um, accused three was communicating with, uh, sometimes they call her sisters and so forth, it's, and it's what is alleged in my lord. And this sisters is being referred as Kelly Kumalo. Now, when one took the cell phone records that the searching 205 that were done on the two numbers, that were known at the time. This is now the runaway phone that picked up the tower from the Lake section and the 082 number that was not taken. There is no communication there that you can find in an open thing except, except the downloads in the 082 number. But even that downloads, my lord, that links accused number five, does not, um, is not happening on the day of the incident. In other words, the other one happened on the 2nd of August. The other one is the 15th of October. That is now prior to the commission of this, offense, of this offense. The relevance of me mentioning this thing is that seeing that there were these numbers that were in a position and active, it is a possibility that this assertion that there was this communication was lying in those numbers that were not known to the police at the time. By the time we came to know about them, the window period to get the, 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 the communication of three years had lapsed and we could not get a device to actually do the downloading. So that is the relevance of mentioning these numbers. We see. But furthermore, my lord, what is important or prudent to mention is that this transpired during the collaboration process. As I said, statements are made, confessions needed to be collaborated. So this assertion that there was, it is alleged that there was this communication between accused three and Ms. Kulukumalo was missing in terms of the date because it's being said that it was happening um, on the day of the offense. So it was, you know, something that one needed to know, but how could it be? Because we do have the cell phone records of Ms. Kelly Kumalo, the two cell phones, and that seems to, seems not to be there. 
And that is how now the cell phone expert, Kenneth Stein, was able to establish and link these phone numbers, that these numbers belong to her, they were active, and they were not disclosed to the police at the time. Now, Kendall Stein deposed to Exhibit 01 and 02, which at the moment I don't have them in front of me. But amongst other things, he, he listed about eight numbers, including landlines, that Kelly Kumalo used at the time, and as to each number, when she started using the number and when the period of using that number ended. The question then becomes, of these four numbers, did you determine if Kelly Kumalo was using six cell phones on the night in question? That is, these four numbers, the 082 number and the 2498 number. Was she using six cell numbers on the 26th of October 2014? Yes, that's the understanding I got, my lord. So one will recall that what she disclosed to the police, it's the runaway phone, the phone that was never recovered, and the phone that was downloaded, where um, the linkage with the alleged phone of accused five was picked up. So that was disclosed, it's in the docket, the numbers are listed. This four that I'm referring to, it's what the analysts found, that they were active, but they were not made available to the police. Hence, there's no section 205 that were done at the time and there was no downloading done on those numbers. The right context is that at the time when I made this application for, 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 for the arrest of Ms. Kelly Kumalo, that was the information available to me from Kenneth Stein. But subsequent to that, it was an ongoing analysis that he was embarking on. So it is not uh, surprising that as Mr. Ramsey Peter, that in other statements, the numbers are more because it was an ongoing on investigation. Particularly, my lord, I'm saying this investigation towards Ms. Kelly Kumalo because one will remember I've indicated that before the five accused were, were um, um, processed and brought before court, there was a desire based on the information that we had to add Ms. Kelly Kumalo, but it was clear during uh, our discussion with our colleagues that more investigation needed to be done. Now, it then takes us to the statement of November that Mr. Ramsey Pillar refers to. And then subsequent to that, obviously engaging with the NPA, there was also a desire that we need to collect more hands. You will see the numbers increasing and all other things that came up that we even didn't discuss and that we did not even cover in this court because it's not relevant at this stage. When did the police, uh, the investigative team, discover these four numbers? It will be prior to me making that statement, my lord. Uh, I, I, will, I will have to go through the docket to, to, to establish. But they were discovered by Kenneth Stein, as I said. So it was, it was um, after the confessions were made, because it is after the confessions were made, where it was now becoming, or this assertion was made that Ms. Kelly Kumalo, it's alleged that he gave the instructions and there was a communication. So the desire to establish or to find that communication started there. And it would have been around that period where Kenneth Stein then discovered these numbers um, in trying to collaborate obviously what was contained in the statement and that statement would have been made after. Because, can, uh, Brigadier, sorry, my understanding from the evidence of Kenneth Stein and to some extent your evidence is that your team did not go about and do new Section 205s for the people that were in the house. That section 205 was obtained by the previous investigative team. And when you got on board, it's then that Kennel Stain worked per your instructions on the section 205s of the people that were in the house. That is correct. As I've said, my lord, the, the section 205s that were made for the people who were inside the house mm. were made by Captain Bomstra. Yes. Yeah. And now let's go to this one. Uh, in investigations, further revealed that she is linked to the actual perpetrators of the murder by means of cell phone linkages. These linkages connect her to accused three and accused five. What do you mean by cell phone linkages? Well, my lord, <clears throat> I'm referring to well, accused five, for example. I think we've dealt with the two calls. Um, accused 3, we dealt with the back, the see-through back, which appears on Accused 3's phone, and Ms. that's a link, and, and Ms. Kelly Kumalo. 
but but as I said, my lord, and to be fair, unless then um, advocate minister does not mind, then I will go into it because I no, said no. there are certain things that we found that that links Miss Koli Kumalo, but for the purpose of this court, we didn't bring it up because it's not relevant. Yes. So that is the link that I'm talking about. So if I'm asked to go deep, but unfortunately it, it will have a, a bearing on advocate ministers. No, uh, I don't want us to go to. I'm, I'm just reading the statement as is, and I was asking by cell phone link. What do you mean? Is it uh, media that is contained in the phone? Is it calls? Is it uh, text? But I've got my answer. I don't want you to go to okay. uh, an, an advocate's evidence. I don't understand. Wait, 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 wait. I don't understand. You're asking me a question. You, you are, you're obliged to answer the question pertaining to your investigation. Yes, ma'am. As, as you conducted it, so that the court can, can appreciate too. You can't tell me that you disclose this piece of evidence but you won't disclose this piece of evidence. What should I do about the rest of your evidence then? Understood, my lord. M my lord, so, so the other aspect that I didn't touch on is that there is the report that I got and is containing one of Colonel Stein's statements. There is a link between, um, let me say, communication between Ms. Kelly Kumalo and accused three. In a nutshell, I just don't know how Colonel Stein phrased it, but he established a link um, between accused three and accused and Kelly Kumalo, other than accused five. In a panza wakege um solo was sanu ge konage and as je ubutige into uh uh waktola ganja nige loco, yenage ukenel stain gotage ukshilo ubutige konage uh kumana aktolage pagatwa um solo is tatu kamina ye um skele kumalo. Now let's go to so, so. Is it please the court, my lord? Yeah. This is not an objection, it's just a clarification. Mm. So the information that, that uh, I need to understand and follow it. So what uh, Priyatia Kiminda is saying, that the further information that is uh, not uh, disclosed to the court as to the court's uh, concern, it's that the, the statement of uh, uh, stain, stain actually says that there was a link between accused number three and Kelly Kumal. That is, that's the information that it did not disclose to court, according to him. I just want to follow that uh, statement. Are you able to explain, sir? Yes, my lord. What I can explain is that the statement that I saw, and, and, and if it needs be, we can get to it and I can read it verbatim. The, the, the statement of Kenneth Stein links accused three with Ms. Kelly Kumalo. That's, that's the essence of it. As to how we put his terms, that's the part that I don't want to misquote him. But what is clear is that there's a link with, with, with Ms. Kelly Kumalo and accused. Yeah, but what is of concern to this court is, was that statement discovered? Yes, my lord. It's with the statement to, to, to the defense also. Yes, it's the statement that was attached in the because docket. Wait, 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 wait. Let's understand lord. each other. Take it slow. Because if you haven't discovered that information, you can't use it now but the law allows you if you have discovered all the information you are testifying about yes my lord and you are able to say it was discovered this is the the information but if you're not able to say that I, I can't take that information are you with me i'm with you my lord what i know my lord the state statement was signed attached in the docket and it was disclosed whatever that is in the disclosed. docket in the ex in the, in the docket was disclosed to the defense so it's not something that he, that we kept away it's uh. in the docket and it was disclosed now uh brigadier let's go to the specific linkage that you talked about even in your evidence in chief which is the transparent uh plastic with uh, money in it, which you said uh, from the downloads of accused number three, the downloads of Longe Twala, and the downloads of Kelly Kumalo, that photo is a common denominator. Is that correct? That is correct, man. As a lead investigator in this case, did you present and confront Kelly Kumalo about that photo and seek an explanation from her? No, I did not, my lord. Um, remember the court, I've said, my lord, she was a person that we were intending to charge together with this accused. So the time when I would have approached her and obviously put these assertions would have been when I went to take a warning statement and process accordingly. There was enough, in my view, based on what we had, 
to apply for the warrant of arrest. And obviously, it's a process. That's a normal process. Before a person appears, we'd have sat down with that person, interviewed that person, and these assertions would have been put, my lord. So at that stage, I didn't, but it was evidence that was uh, important for me to mention in pursuance of the uh, uh, the J50, in other words, the authorization from the NPA to be, uh, to be granted. But furthermore, my lord, one will also recall that I've indicated that it was a prosecutorial driven investigation. So we're discussing, you know, with the, with, with the state advocate to say, can we approach the timing? So those things we don't do it in isolation. So there was no blessing to say, go ahead and interview her on this, on this aspect. Did you determine from either cell phone records or from the experts within this field that were assisting the police, the investigation, the source of this uh, photograph with uh, depicting bag of money, a, a transparent bag of money? No, my lord. I, I, I no. I, I, just, I don't want to misquote them, my lord, but no. I, I, I don't recall that, my lord. And the link of that photograph, did you determine who shared with whom amongst the three? Did they share amongst the three or the source of origin from the individual phone, Longwe Twala? Accused number three, Kelly Kumano, as to the source of that photo. My, my lord, I, I, I think in the statement is contained. So that is, that is a terrain which is an expected evidence, and I don't want, but I think the Kennel Stain explains where it was shared or taken by. So I didn't focus, I'm not an expert, my lord. So I don't want, uh, and I didn't even cover it on my statement because I think that's the area that doesn't, I don't have the expertise, except to say, I was convinced that these photos appear because I was shown the downloads, but all those technicalities, um, I, I don't have the expertise, my lord. But except to say I know it was there in those three downloads. Yeah, sorry, but for my own understanding, these are photos of uh, three individual different persons. Correct, my lord. They don't stay together in the same house. Absolutely correct. Are they friends? No, I didn't find are evidence. Are they acquaintances? I didn't find such a Is the relationship between the three of them, like, for instance, Zandile told us his boyfriend, sorry to use that language, is a long way, yes. for instance. Are you with me? I'm with you, my lord. In my investigation, I didn't find such a relationship, and that is why, in the very same statement Rams Ramsipile is referring me to, I do indicate somewhere that, for me, it was concerning as to why Ms. Kedukumalu in particular will be talking to the hitman or the people alleged to have killed her boyfriend because I could not establish any relationship that will justify the communication. Yes. Did you confront Longwe Twala about this photo, show it to him and seek an explanation from him regarding the presence of this fo photo <coughs> in his phone, no, in I his did. phone's memory? No, so, sorry to speak over you, Mr. Ramsey. No, 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 I, I, I did not. Um, same reasons, my lord, um, that concern me, because, because you find there are people who are alleged to be the perpetrators of this offense, and in their device you find a common denominator, which is now found in Long Etwala. Now, uh, it changes the view, you know, um, um, and one needed to be as a trade careful and be guided by prosecution as to when do we approach him. So, 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 so we didn't approach him, but it was based on serious concerns that we had about this common denominator that is found in accused three phones and mysteriously then it appears in the phones of Mr. Long Etwala and Kelu Kumalo. So, so in essence, my lord, one of the reasons that made us not to approach him, it was serious concerns which may be similar to the ones that were motivating the non approach to Ms. Kelu Kumalo with regard to Ms. Long, Mr. Long Etwala. And accused number three. He's arrested on this matter. Uh, measurements are taken from him. Scars are checked to be determined to determine whether he had scars from this. Did you also confront him about this picture of a, a plastic bag with money and seek an explanation from him regarding that? 
I know my lord I confronted him with the allegation containing to this matter in totality and, and, and he responded. Um, but the response was not No I'm so sorry because you have to yes. cut you. I'm speaking specifically about the plastic bag with man, not the totality of the evidence. That's way out of the the, the sp specific confine of my question. Yes, but that's what I'm trying to answer my lord. So the bag of money is in relation to this matter. It's not a standalone matter. So when you interview a person, it's a collective. You put the allegation. So in the warning statement that I took from him was a warning statement regarding this allegation. And the way obvious responses that he gave me. But we didn't deal with the warning statements uh, during the trial within trial. I'm not sure now whether I should go to what is. No, what I didn't ask me. you about that. Oh, okay.